Okay, so seven, 12 kids. Do you, do you think the future looks bright for those guys if somebody doesn't choose to expose what these guys are doing on the military side? Because the fewer, fewer guys like you out there, you create fewer competition. If you do, the bullies are just going to go more, and you know, they're going to they're gonna be able to take advantage of the system more and have more and more control. And my, my concern is the following. So you ran a PMC. Okay, successful one, 850 a year. You know what the next PMC is going to look like? Probably robots, AI. God knows what the next level of PMC is going to look like. We've seen it. I mean, it's not like it's not a believable thing, right? You see in the military where a guy creates, he's got all these. There's, a, there's an interesting window to what that looks like. That's what I'm saying. I think there, it is a, there, a small a, little there's window. A, there's a book called The Profession written by Stephen Pressfield. And that's the guy that wrote uh, Gates of Fire mm. about Thermopylae. He also wrote... Um, the Lion's Gate, which is a very interesting uh, book on the 67 war. But he wrote The Profession, which is written in like 2030, set in 2030. And um, at that point, the Iranians invade Saudi Arabia. They take the oil fields and the U.S. because of basically Middle East fatigue, doesn't send any troops. And uh, so what do they do? The Saudis end up hiring the, uh, the successor company to Blackwater, who cleans up and does it. And it's a very interesting perspective how the, that force is organized and uh, a lot more mobile, fast, and drones. And I would say the, the, the real lesson out of the Ukraine conflict now uh, is the, that small FBV drones or small quadcopters that can drop munitions, even in a high electronic warfare environment, is exceedingly potent and a true asymmetric capability that the U.S. military is, it's, I mean, the Russians are paying attention. They are building and learning. I was just at the Saudi defense show a couple weeks ago, and there's all kinds of Saudi firms marketing their loitering munitions um, and with videos of them smashing Western tanks, Paladin howitzers, and, and M777 you know, guns uh, un, you know, <laughs> without, without, damn it, without, without stopping. So it's... Um, the U.S. military needs to pay attention to those things because the, the change of, uh, of equipment and tactics in warfare is very real. Who's the modern-day Eric Prince? Is there Eric Prince right now trying to do what you did or no? Are there any formidable ones that are ambitious, driven, crazy enough to do it? I'm not saying I wouldn't build a PMC again. Okay, good. All right, maybe we're bringing him out of retirement today. Announcement's been made. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.